Good morning and greeting, Earthlings. Oh, who the hell am I kidding? All right, residents of planet Earth, good morning. It is now June 25th, launch day of the brand new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760, and we happen to get our hands on one here over on Tech of Tomorrow. So now let's take a look at the reference card and let's bring you guys the full review, benchmarks, and just see what this new card is all about. All right, folks, so now let's take a closer look at the GTX 760, which I don't know if many of you guys know, it is now replacing the GTX 660 Ti, but it's coming into the market around $50 cheaper and starting with an MSRP of around $249. Now, the card is geared for 1080p and 1200p gaming with graphics and AA turned up. Now, the reference GTX 760 that we're looking at today, it features a dual slot design. It measures in at 9.5 inches in length and includes two dual link DVI, one HDMI, and one DisplayPort connection. As far as its power connectors, it requires two six pin power connectors and has a total TDP of 170 watts. As far as the speeds and feeds, the GTX 760 features six SMX units, 96 texture units, and 1152 CUDA cords. The reference card comes clocked at 980 MHz and has a typical boost clock speed of 1033 MHz. The card also has a 256-bit memory interface with 2 GB of GDDR5 memory, 192.26 GB a second total memory bandwidth, and a memory clock speed of 1502 MHz. Just like the GTX 770, 780, and Titan, the GTX 760 also features GPU Boost 2.0 which is based off the GPU temperature and not on the power target like the original GPU Boost 1.0. The benefit of the boost clock speed based on the GPU temperature is that with particular partner cards like MSI, EVGA, Gigabyte, and ASUS, they offer a better cooling solution which results in even higher boost clock speeds and better performance. Now, while we're on the subject of those partner cards and those cards that are made in a non-reference design, if you guys would like to check out any of the pricing and availability, make sure you guys check out the links down in the description below. We'll have all that information. And with that said, let's jump in and rock out with our Spock out and check out the benchmarks. Alright, so there you guys go, rocking out to the new benchmark song, The Human Zoo, where down there below the like button in the description, you guys can see the link to where to pick up that song as you guys always ask about it. So, now we've seen it. All the specs, all the features, and the performance of the new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760. Now, this thing's basically replacing the 660 Ti Boost card, only it's going to be coming to market at about $50 to $60 less and bring you better performance all the way across the board. Now, being that this is the reference card, we didn't obtain any great overclocking results using the GPU Boost 2.0 because it's set at 80 Celsius and you're kind of stuck with that and because of the cooling on it it's not really going to allow you to do much past that but it's not really geared for that either usually when nvidia makes a reference design card it's just built pretty much to stick in the computer and go and then all the aftermarket cards which we're going to talk about in a second have all that extensive cooling you also get the new 1.5 geforce experience which is really great stuff it actually allows your card to keep everything up to date running smooth and also sets it for its most optimized settings so you get the absolute most out of your gaming experience and your card. All pretty cool stuff. Like I said a second ago, 
partner cards. Now, a lot of these cards are going to be based on a non-reference design. The card that we took a look at in today's review, this is based off NVIDIA's reference-based design. It's basically a suggestion to companies on how to build the card. Many cards, like MSI's card, their new Twin Frozer Gaming Edition, which we took a look at, is actually really, really extremely running cooler than the reference design. Like I said a second ago, the reference design is set at about 80, 81 Celsius, we were seeing 60, 61 Celsius on the MSI Twin Frozer. So there's, you know, almost 18 to 20% better cooling right off the bat on that card. And if you guys would like to see the full review of that while you're watching this video, you guys can click on the link down in the description below. We have the full blown review, all the benchmarks, pictures, even comparisons against the reference card against that card over at our site, www.techoftomorrow. So hope you appreciate us getting up early in the morning and doing this. So if so, make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Show us you love us because we we love you here at Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you guys here for more videos here on launch day.